Are you looking for the most luxurious, most delicious mashed potato recipe ever? Well, you've come to the right place if you have. I have a pretty fantastic recipe to share with you. Very simple, very delicious. The first thing that you want to do is peel and cut up into two inch pieces, two and a half pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. The great thing about Yukon Gold potatoes is their texture is fantastic and they make a really nice, fluffy, but slightly dense mashed potato. And they have a gorgeous golden color that's very appetizing to look at when you're eating. If you can't find Yukon Golds, go ahead and use any red skinned or white skinned potato for this. Don't go for the baking potatoes, they'll be too gummy. Cut the potatoes into two inch pieces approximately. Obviously it doesn't need to be exact here because, well, you're gonna cook them and mash them. You just want them smaller so they cook faster and even so that they cook evenly. Then put them in a pot and then cover them with water by about two inches. Just make sure they're fully covered. Put them on the stove, add some salt, bring it to a boil and cook it until the potatoes are really nice and tender. That'll take about 15 minutes. I have a cup and a half of cream here. I'm just gonna heat it on the back of the stove while the potatoes are cooking so it's nice and warm and doesn't cool down the potatoes when we add them. I like to check to see if the potatoes are done by just mashing them against the side of the pot and making sure they mash because when you're making mashed potatoes, you need them to be completely falling apart. Not waterlogged, but mushy. So once they're mushy, drain them. And then what I like to do is put them back in the pot to dry out a little bit. So make sure you get off as much water as possible. So the drier they are, the fluffier they're gonna be. From here, you can do one of three things. You can use a food mill. It's a really useful tool if you make tomato sauce a lot of the time or pureed soups, you can use a food mill. Another great tool is a ricer. This is actually my favorite tool to use because you press your potatoes straight through here and the potatoes come out the other side really, really nice and fine. And then your standard potato masher. That's gonna give you a lumpier texture, a little bit more homemade feeling as opposed to that super high-end mashed potato. Today I'm gonna to use the ricer. So what you wanna do is you take your potatoes once they're drained, scoop them into your ricer over the pot so nothing falls out. And you can see that as they're cooling, all the liquid is evaporating. They're really, really fluffy. Do you see those little white things on top? That, mean, that means that they're fluffy. Press them through the ricer right into the pot. Look at that, so fun. It's like using one of those Play-Doh machines, right? This is already nice and fine. So you can just stir your butter, one stick of butter. Make sure it's room temperature so it melts really easily. I'm gonna break it into little pieces anyway. It pays to work quickly here. Otherwise, if your potatoes get cool, your butter will not melt. So just stir your potatoes until the butter melts and then you can add your warm cream. And in fact, you can start adding it now even before the butter's completely melted and the warmth of the cream will help melt the rest of the butter. I'm just gonna start with one cup. Now remember, you're making a really fine sort of restaurant style mashed potato here, almost like a puree. So if you were interested in doing this and you really wanted it extra, extra fine, after you add your cream, you could pass it yet one more time through a sieve so that it's super duper silky and fine. I am going to forgo that step because I think they're super fine enough having passed them through my ricer. Let me taste it. I think it's probably gonna need salt. And I have to say, the texture of this is good and I don't think that it needs any more cream and I only used about a cup. So don't just go adding all the cream at once. Make sure you add a little bit and then add more if you feel like you need it. It doesn't make a lot, but it's super rich. So everybody can do with just one or two little dollops, and if they go in for seconds, remind them that there was a cup and a half cream in it. <laughs> Spoon up these luxurious mashed potatoes at your next party, Thanksgiving for instance, and watch everyone swoon. So cozy, but fancy at the same time.